Okay, let's talk about the continental grip. Continental grip, and again, what we can do is start with our uh, eastern forehand grip where we have the palm along the back side of the racket, and the V that's formed by the thumb and the index finger is right along the right top bevel. The continental is a slight move. It's sort of in between that forehand, that eastern forehand, and that eastern backhand grip. You know, the eastern backhand grip, what we do is we move that knuckle on top. Well, this time we're going to move the knuckle just along the right side bevel. So it's sort of halfway between your eastern forehand and your eastern backhand grip. And, and, and this grip, the continental, uh, is... is Again, with that, with that knuckle more sort of on top of that right bevel, maybe just a hair, maybe a quarter turn, you know, back around the backside. And with the, the V formed by your thumb and your index finger, that V in the continental grip is along the left side top bevel. And this is a great grip for volleys forehand, backhand volley, so you don't have to switch grips when you're up at net. It's a great grip for the serve. Uh, it's a great grip for the overhead. Uh, the Continental is, is what you want to use on slice backhands, on slice forehand uh, ground strokes when, when you're pulled out wide. Uh, I, I like to use it a lot, uh, obviously on the backhand slice approach, but from time to time on certain forehands that land short, I'll also use the Continental to slice an approach up the line towards the middle. You can even play drop shots with this grip. And, and, and I use the Continental in my neutral ready position grip when I'm back in the baseline or when I'm returning serve. Uh, some people will use that eastern forehand grip as their ready position. That's fine.